Hey guys, welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2 Football V5. In the last part, um, we started getting pranks to comets after they appeared, um, and we also got one star in Haunted Halls Galaxy. Um, in this part, we're going to be purely moving on with the story and doing some new stars instead of pranks to comets. And then, like I said in the last part, um, in the next part, we're going to be mainly concentrating on pranks to comets um, and moving on in the world if we can. Uh, so, anyway, we've got Haunted Halls here that I didn't finish off last time, so let's go and do the second star now. Oh yes, I also forgot to speak to that Whittle, didn't I? Um, a few episodes ago, I think. So once I've done the star thing, we'll go back and do that if I remember. Uh, sneaking down the creepy corridor. Well, it's like uh, sneaking to that troll's bedroom, Harry Potter all over again. That's one long corridor. Um, okay, did we start off here last time? And here's Luigi again. Everybody look for a star, you want to be uh, you can now play as Luigi. No thank you. Oh, yeah. As I basically said last time, I'm not really going to be using Luigi because I personally find Mario much better. And to be honest, every single time we've had a game, like any kind of game really, I've always picked the balanced person. Mario's more balanced instead of being like, majorly good at one thing and downsiding in another. So, that's why I like him on Brawl quite a lot. Um, I know people don't really like Mario and Brawl, but if you if you it's basically the same with any character. I mean, even, even if you use G uh, Jigglypuff right, you can uh, do a lot of damage. So and let's see if I can do this this time. And thank you. Coin, please. Oh, ground pound. You can actually jump on, uh, spin them, and get the pumpkin off their heads, but it's easier just to ground pound, in my opinion. Oh, one more, one more. See, maybe if they get the fire on me. Oh well, at least I defeated them all. Well, I didn't get anything for it. Uh, okay, let's head over to this launch star over here, and what's it say? The booze won't hurt you as long as you look them in the eye, okay? <laughs> okay, that's not creepy at all. Uh, so here we have a booze. Uh, I don't think we've had the introduction of booze yet. Basically, if you look at them, they won't move. Um, to be honest, the Weeping Angels of Dot's Room must have got some inspiration from the Boos because every time you don't look at them, they come after you. Every time you do look at them, they'll stay still because they think they're invisible. But they're obviously not. Anyway, though, let's get into this launch star over here. And be careful of those green things because they shrink. Let's fly! In fact, that was a pretty bad impression. I'll try and do it again in a minute, Gavin. Uh, what is this? Okay, there's a platform here. Uh, so in this level, I can remember a lot of booze coming up to you, so do be careful. Not all white stuff is great, remember that. Okay, we've got more of these things here. Uh, I still don't know, what don't know what they're called, but who cares, they're pretty cool anyway. Ooh. <laughs> I like that little sound effect that happens. Oh shit! Phew, that was close. Uh, another checkpoint, okay. Um, is this thing moving? Oh, yeah, the floor's moving. Well, these things here are, that these uh, dry snakes, I'll call them, are making. Okay, another boo, that came out of nowhere. And while we're doing this, I guess I could talk about um, something that I've... Um, I want to have a little rant about. I'm sure... Um, oh, and the star's over there, we can plainly see it. Um, Mario Party 9. I... After a long decision, I've decided not to get the game because I do not think it's worth £30. Uh, and okay, we've got one last run here, the booze. I do not think it's worth £30. I do not think it's worth uh, £25. Maybe a push 20 And to be honest, what I think of it is, it's a very... It's two things really. One, it's basically... A bit uh, more of a. If you played, um, I'm trying to find a way to explain it. If you played Mar uh, Wii Party and you played the board game where you walk up the mountain uh, to get to the top, it's based. That's basically what Mario Party 9 boards are like. Apart from it's a bit more fleshed out and you've got more stuff to do on it. But compared to the other Mario Party games, it is seriously been watered down and they've taken so much out of it. There's no more of the, that complex gameplay and strategy. It's just a basic. A, point A to point B, no much exploration at all. And it, it, from what I've seen, it can be extremely luck based on the mini stars you get, unless you're really good at mini games, which you can get um, things uh, mini stars back. But still, there are no coins in the game. Um, oh, from what I've seen, it's the ND Cube have just changed it so much, and like 
<coughs> sorry. And it's made me not want to get the game. It's um, so I really am disappointed because I've been waiting for Mario Party 9 for years because we didn't even know it was going to be coming out. And when it did come out, it turns out to be a piece of bullshit. I know people are obviously going to like the game, and that's fair enough because if you like Wii Party, you probably will like the game. But compared, and I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm just saying compared to other Mario Party games, it is a piece of shit because it should not be counted in the Mario Party franchise because it's got nothing to do with the other games. And I know people say, "Oh, the." the formula was getting tired and things like that. I don't think it was. 8 was a bag of shit because of the mo crappy motion controls and the really bad graphics and animation. Uh, I've got too many Comet Coins, Comet arrive. First kind of galaxy, always one Comet Coin somewhere, look hard, fine. Okay, so it's always the first time you enter a galaxy, so it'll be the first star. So, at least that will tell us something slightly useful. Um. Haunty Halls. Okay, so now that we've done Haunty Halls, we can go ahead and uh, we'll go to this Hungry Luma, I guess, and then we'll go to Freeze Flake. Uh, looks like you found a Hungry Luma. I hope you've got a stack of star bits, because those guys can eat, as you've told us. So many Hang on. Lover, I, I think I figured you out. You were a Hungry Luma back in the day, weren't you? Don't lie. Every time I feed one of these things, a part of your heart just dissolves and you feel so depressed because you're like, oh, that's what I used to be like back in the day when I could eat all I wanted to. Those were the days. <laughs> Those were the days. <sighs> I feel so sorry for you, lover. But at the same time, get a diet. Oh, great. This galaxy. I know what this one's all about. Don't worry, lover. Here you go. Ah, what a tease, I only gave you one. <laughs> so funny. Uh, okay, so let's head off to... Um, what galaxy is it? Uh, Beat Block Galaxy. Uh, I do believe this returned in Super Mario 3D Land as well. God, they took a lot of inspiration from uh, the Galaxy games for Mario 3D Land. Which I know quite a lot of people didn't like it because it didn't have uh, the stars in it. It's still a fantastic game, but I admit I would have liked it if it had uh, stars in it instead. And I'm betting that 2D Super Mario game that's going to come out soon on the 3DS, that's going to be the style of 2D Mario, but in the style of 3D gameplay. So, like, maybe collecting stars. And, uh, yeah, so, you have to pay attention to the music here, because they'll, uh, they'll transform or go away or come back on um, a certain beat. It also does it plays in your Wii Remote, but since I'm speaking, I can't really hear it that well. If you, can't, uh, if you don't want to sound up, just look at them when they're flashing because it's basically a timer for when they're going to disappear. What's in here? A Goomba, okay. <laughs> You're no match for the homing attack. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Right. Oh shit. Oh shit! Fuck. Fuck. That was bad timing. Alright, I'm back. So, let's try this again. And something, I do have, something else I have to say on the Mario Party 9 subject is I've completely lost faith in O&M, which is the official Nintendo magazine um, in uh, the UK and Ireland, I think it is. Um, but I've completely lost faith in them. They don't like Super Mario, Super Mario Sunshine because they didn't have an ice level, which is a pathetic reason not to like the game. They didn't like... No, what was it? They did something else, but I can't remember what it was. No, they say Mario Kart Wii is the best online ever, even though it's full to the brim of hackers. Which I guess they can't really control, but they had a recent uh, top 100 uh, Nintendo games list uh, with Mario Kart Wii being number 6, which... Mario Kart Wii is not a bad game, I know loads of people don't like it, I still love it to bits, but the online has been hacked to shreds, and they cannot say that it's still a fantastic online multiplayer experience, because that's a bad selling point. It might have been back in the day, but it isn't anymore, and Nintendo... I can safely say, Ninte none of Nintendo's online games are actually amazingly good. They're not. You can say Mario Kart 7's amazing, but that's going to get hackers soon. I know people say the 3DS can't be hacked, but hackers will find a way. And I'm lucky here to be surviving. And uh, now, what? Uh, they did one more thing. What was it? Um, they said Mario Party 9 was the best Mario Party ever. I know some people said um, it'll take you. Some bit you will like it, it'll just take you some time to get used to the radical changes. But to be honest, I, d I do not like the radical changes, and the, the game but in my opinion, doesn't make me interested in it because of these changes, and 
It's basically a Mario Party, I mean, a Mario Party, a Wii Party clone, apart from it's been fleshed out a bit more, which is not enough for me to want to buy the game. I'm sorry, Nintendo, but. Which, another speaking of, game in Game Station, I've not stocked Mario Party 9. I could kind of understand my, uh, the last story, uh, because that was kind of an obscure game, but Mario Party 9. How are they not stocking that? They say they're not going to stock it. They can't stock ev uh, everything. Sorry, but they're not stocking anything. What's going on, game? Have you can get your arson gear, or is I'm going to have to find someone new to shop? And the pranks are coming, Haunted Halls Galaxy. Oh, I've got quite a lot of pranks to comments to do for the next episode. And what's this, Mario? I have a letter for you. Challenge: Race, race, racing at Wild Guard Galaxy. Don't chicken out. Don't chicken out. Come on, don't wait. Don't wait. Uh, come see me next time. There's a mail delivery. Okay, and uh, as I was going to say, apparently um, the gal the prankster comments do not leave the galaxy once they have come there. Um, I got confused with the first game because in the first game they only stayed there for a limited amount of time before they left. Um, I think we're gonna go and do that thing in Wild Guard Galaxy. Was that in this world? Yeah, it was. Okay, uh, because um, I'd like to get it out of the way. So. And, oh, I, I can't really remember this one. I know it's a race, obviously, because it's in the letter, but still. Uh, jungle Fluzzard Race. All right. Sounds so cool. Holy shit, that's a lot of birds. Yes. All right, um... Do we talk to the black one? Let's go, let's go. Race, race. Yeah, yeah. Ready, ready. Wow, you guys seem excited. Just try me, just try me. I'm ready any time. That's what she said. I'm the best there is. Just try me, I never lose a race. Okay, let's race. Show down, show down, and don't think I'm some pushover. Let's go. Oh god, are we racing them all? All right. Uh, how do I control fulls it again? All right, I remember now. Right, okay, so um, I don't remember this race being particularly difficult. Oh come on, where's the black dude? Oh there he is. Oh shit, shit, shit! I'm losing. This isn't exactly fair because Fuzzard, remember, he has to carry me, and Mario's a bit of a fat plumber. So, oh for God's sake, come on, go faster! You're getting nowhere. Maybe I should have uh, not dived down so much. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to lose this. Look how far he is away from me. Right, come on. Yes, yes. Come on, Fuzzard. Come on, Fuzzard. Do your thing. Come fly with me. Let's fly. Let's fly away. Right, go through here. We should be fine. Yes, all right. Nice one. So, um, I think, yeah, the best thing to do there is just try and dive down as much as you can, but, but, but without obviously uh, slowing down. Um, I lost, lost, I'm no leader. You be our new leader, new leader, new leader gets star. Okay. You know, if you have any more stars, I'd like to have them, because last time you gave me one, this time you're giving me one, and I kind of need them, so... So I'm going to take the star and brutally squeeze all the energy out of it so it can power our spaceship. Yeah. Goodbye star, now time to leave your life as a slave. Okay, galaxy complete, lovely. I see you brought us back a really loud bird this time, horror horror. Or at least in any of them cocky racers. You hear the Tranquil? Oh, Tranquil, that's a Pokemon! Pokemon reference in a Mario game! Well, that's not happened before, has it? In Petalburg and Mario Party 2? No, Paper Mario 2, that's the one. You hear the Tranquil song of the stars? No, well, it's tough to hear over that yapping jibber jabby. Jibber jay, even. How about going over there and trying to get it to pipe down for a bit? Well, I don't hear any noise, lover. You probably make more noise stomping your massive feet around. Gosh, my luck. Listen up, listen up, there's a trick to going fast with Fuzzard. 
Paint, point, the Wii Remote down to dive. Keep diving to go fast. Dive, dive, wherever you can. Fast, fast. And speaking of my good luck, I've got a bit of a story. Um, yesterday, me and my friend were sat at um, a bus stop waiting for our bus to go to college. And I don't know what this person was. I think she was a... Uh, she might have been a Jehovah's Witness, I'm not sure. Um, and she came up to us and went, Are you? I think she was Jamaican as well, so she was going, Are you do gobble? And we were like, no. And we'll, we'll head off to Freezy Fate Galaxy now, seeing he's got nothing else to do, basically. Hang on, have we got anything else to do? Uh, beat block? No, we haven't, okay. Right, it's a Freezy Flake. Freezy Flake, even. And, um... She gets us over here like, were you, Are you a gobble? No, we're not. So I joke saying, Oh, we might be when we're 40. And then she started going, oh, I love the young people. And then she said, um, are you a Christian? And I said, well, I, I actually uh, I actually have been christened. But um, I do sort of believe in God. Because I the, I think I do believe in God in the fact that life must have had to come from somewhere. But I don't really believe in Jesus that much. But I just said I was christened. And she was like, oh, I bless you. I bless you. And me and my friend were just sat there like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> it was the most random thing ever. And then our bus came, and as soon as the bus came, I kind of made it obvious and went, Oh look, our bus is here, better go! And then she, oh, she started going, Oh, I love the young people, and... Oh, it's creepy, but at the same time, it was pretty funny, so... But I have to say, why does the weird crap always happen to me? It happens to me in real life all the time. God, the amount of stories I must have to sh share. But, they'll have to come when the time comes. And we've got a, a weird chance cube here. Uh, one with a Bowser on, which an enemy will pop out of it. One with coins, for coins obviously, and one with life, so... Let's take a chance on me. And a life, okay. So actually, it's my lucky day, I've been blessed. She's like, um, do you, if you want good grades, just pray, just ask God for good graves. So, and the weird thing is, it's a good thing, actually, because I was going to get Mario Party 9 yesterday. Uh, but I actually forgot my wallet. Um, and I was pissed off about it, but now that I don't want it, I'm glad that I forgot it. But I swear I, I swear I had it in the first place, so... You know, I had good luck all day after that, so you never know. It might just be a coincidence, but then again, it might not. Anyways, you can see there, with those fireballs, uh, you can get these tree, uh, hit down the trees and Goomba statues, which is what we have to do here, because I think there's a um, lot of star pieces here, and stop trying to run away from me. And it's sad how desperate they are to run away from me. Look, look how they run away. Oh, baby. Right, where's that fire flower? It's got to be around here somewhere. Do I have to kill all these things? Die! You don't tell me I have to go back all the way up that cliff just to get a fire flower. I swear there was one around here somewhere. You know what? I think I have to go back up that cliff to get a fire flower. Right, let's just see what's over here. Nothing? Nothing at all? Some star bits here. Okay, I guess I'll go get that, that fire flower then. Oh, and I didn't speak to this bunny. There's some really weird snow sculptures, they give me the creeps. Well, you just wasted my time limit for my fire flower, so thank you very much for wasting my damn time! Uh, what's in here? Pointless junk? Do I really want to waste my fire flower for this? Well, I might as well, because my fire flower's running out anyway. Oh, shit. Star bits. Uh, that tree, I think, is for a hidden star, which is a, a later time. So don't bother with that yet. God, what is it with... Die! Is there nothing here? Do I need to go hit them trees over there? Right, okay. Uh, is there anything in these big snowballs? I'm not going to try it because there's not much point. Anything in here? No, right, I need to get that tree. And there's nothing... Oh, there's a one-up in that tree. Oh, I know what I have to do. Stupid me. Right, okay. Back with the fire flower. Right. What we have to do is go and hit that Bowser statue with um, the fire flower thing. God, I can't remember... I, I can't believe I didn't remember that. Right, there we go. Right, okay. So, it doesn't matter if we lose the fire flower now. Got a lovely slide here. This one is no way near as difficult as the one on um, Tall Trunk Galaxy, so don't worry about that. Um, okay, so I'm going to need another Fire Flower, which is one over there. Uh, the Comet Medal is round here. This is like the only Comet Medal I know by heart in the game, which is pretty bad. So, uh, anyway. 
No, not not in the watt pipe. I don't want to go in the watt pipe yet. This is pretty bad. What am I doing? What am I doing? Come on, Mario. There it is. Can I kill him straight away? Okay, maybe not. Uh, where's that fire flower again? What's on here? Nothing. All right. That was weird. That's a random thing. All right. So now there's not much here left here for us to get apart from a coin. So uh, let's just go and can I? Oh my! I don't get that half jump with the fire flower, do I? Fire flower? You suck. No, not really. Oh, this bit. Okay, I remember this bit. Right. Okay. So what we have to do here is basically push these snowballs. Is there anything over there? There's a Goomba thing over there, which I'm guessing is going to be a life in it, because it's kind of out of the way. What we basically have to do is push this over without touching the lava, the snowballs. Uh, quite easy. And there's a bunny rabbit here. Uh, okay, since you found me, I'll let you in on a secret. If you roll the snowballs in the snow, they'll get bigger. Yeah, it's okay. So, on the thingy, obviously, they get smaller, but you can cross the lava. But if you roll them out in the snow, they get bigger, so... It's a bit like Snow Viagra. And shit. Ow, that hurt. Give me a coin. Coin, please. And shit. Bro, roll. Let's roll. Let's go. I can long jump from here. Okay, so we need a flat fire flower now. And, okay. Well, I don't even need the, uh, the whatever it is, thingy for this. Can I walk in lava with the fire flower? Shall see. No, no. Okay, that's still no go. And there's the star. So let's get it. Okay, so now that we've um, got quite a few stars in this um, this video, even we completed Horton Hall's Galaxy. Uh, we did what we did by completing Horton Hall's Galaxy once again. Don't know why I repeated that. Uh, Beat Block Galaxy, and we also got a star in Freezy Freeze. Freezy Flame, Freezy Flake Galaxy, that's the one. Um, and we also got a star in that Wild Wild Galaxy for doing that race. So, in the next part, we're going to be carrying on and getting those pranks to comments that we've missed. Um, so, I shall see you then.